Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Silva, a percussionist at UMass Dartmouth, here to show you some percussive instruments. First off, we have the suspended cymbal. Our play with two mallets can be rolled, dampened with the hands, and struck. Next up, we have the wood blocks, starting with the high and the low. Next up is the xylophone. Next, we have what are called the cortales. Play with these little tiny brass mallets. Alongside the brass mallets, they can be played with a bow. Next up is the vibraphone. It can be played with two or four mallets. Hi, I'm Christopher Neopolis, and I'm going to play the clarinet for you. The clarinet has a smooth, round sound and can play low sounds like this. sounds. Put them all together and it sounds like this. Hi everyone, my name is Dominic Vicari from Dartmouth, Massachusetts, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how the upright bass sounds. We're going to start with a D major scale using the bow. Next, I'm going to play a piece called The Meister Singer by Richard Wagner, also using the bow. thing I'm going to play for you today is a piece called Don't Get Around Much Anymore Using My Fingers, which is called Pizzicato. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Nichols. I am a former Sameo member and I'm currently a senior at the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley studying cello performance. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Suite number three, the prelude, just a little bit of the opener.
is Caroline, and I'm going to be playing the viola for you. The viola has a warm, chocolatey sound that can play low or high. When you put it all together, it sounds like this. Hello, I'm Meredith Kelly and I'm going to play the violin for you. The violin sound was designed to imitate the human voice so it can make high sounds. and low sounds. You put them together, you have a dynamic line of music.